Uh, today is July 14th, 2010. It's one day before I leave from Carbondale, Illinois to head up to Springfield, Illinois. It's about a three and a half hour trip to see an uh, electrophysiologist who was referred to me by the Carbondale Hospital here. And thanks to my uncle, Buddy Hankins, who's going to be kind enough to take off work and give me a ride up there. But, uh, <clears throat> basically what's going on is it took about two months to get to the bottom of this. But, um, I have a irregular heartbeat and my heart beats way too fast. In fact, well, uh, yesterday Yesterday and the day before, I decided to stop taking my Metro Prolol, a uh, brand name Toprol, which is supposed to lower your blood pressure, and I think it also lowers your heartbeat, which I found out last night. Last night, my heart, I was just laying down in bed, and my heart was just pounding away, and I thought I was going to have a uh, heart attack or cardiac arrest or failure or something. <coughs> so I took the uh, Toprol to make my heartbeat slow down and it worked after about 10 minutes it kicked in and the reason I stopped taking it in the first place was because hold on a second just making sure this thing's on the reason I stopped taking it in the first place was because um, it was dropping my blood pressure too much because when you have a heart, fast heartbeat, a fast heartbeat makes your blood pressure drop. So I thought it was kind of funny, you know, why am I taking medication to make my blood pressure drop even more? Because anytime I would stand up or go to walk around the grocery store or, or the bank, um, I'd have to end up calling 911 and being escorted away because my blood pressure would drop and I would feel like I was going to faint. and just felt like I was so fatigued and I was going to die and you know I would have just got done eating a meal and it, it just felt like I was completely vanished like I had been lost in the woods and haven't eaten for days so we finally got that figured out <clears throat> and uh, hopefully medication or just them going in and zapping me once or a couple times in one visit will correct my heartbeat. If not, I'll have to get a pacemaker put in up here, uh, lodged in underneath my skin, near my collarbone, my left shoulder, and you know that'll stay in the, me the rest of my life and regulate my heartbeat. Either way, I'm prepared, prepared for whatever happens. Just hope I can stay alive till tomorrow. And I just hope that I can, you know, get back to having some fire in my life and being able to get out and explore the world again and compete in sports. And then uh, on top of getting my heart fixed, my left Achilles tendon, I guess it's called the balsa, the part um, that connects the bottom of your tendon to your heel. Uh, it's been injured for over a year now, about a year and a half now actually, and hasn't gotten better on its own, so before I go back to running or playing basketball, uh, I'm going to need to get that fixed also, or else it's just going <laughs> to pull apart on me one day, that's not going to be very fun. And also... Right here, I don't know if this is a muscle or a tendon, whatever it is, but whenever I lift up or do push ups, it uh, feels like my muscles kind of torn and it's been hurt. You know, it's the middle of July and it's been hurting since March 15th, 
like my very first night in this apartment, I slept the wrong way on the couch and I like I woke up and my arm was all sore and tingly like I'd been sleeping on it all night. And ever since then it, that muscle hasn't gotten any better. So gonna have to get that checked out. And besides that, I need to get my teeth cleaned. I'm starting to get black stains that I gotta like take a kitchen knife to <laughs> just to get off my teeth. I don't know what's going on, but for some reason, you know, I'll brush my teeth and the stains don't go away, and then black stains come back. You know, a couple days later, if I even if I brush my teeth, it's uh, pretty creepy. You know. I don't eat, eat anything black until so recently I had some M&M's <laughs> but I've never had black stains on my teeth before so I don't know if it's tartar bu building up with something else in my mouth but just gotta get my teeth clean and on top of that I'm trying to figure out whether I should continue playing poker or not. Um, it is a fun activity, it's entertainment, it gives you something to do, it's possible you can make money, but I just don't know if I'm accomplishing anything with my life by playing poker anymore. Uh, saying that, I feel like my calling is to write a movie script and really quick, uh, without getting into too much detail, um, it's just going to be a movie about the world's current problems and I'm also going to throw in some things about uh, what needs to be done for the future of our humanity. And uh, that's about it. It'll be an interesting subject. Uh, another interesting thing that hit me the other day was what if I what if I sold my movie script idea into a South Park theatrical film? Um, South Park is a very controversial show, but I I watched uh, seasons 12 through 14 and was kind of blown away by the fact that they had some very deep questions in in the episodes on top, you know behind all the you know smut and all the the curse words and all the you know all the slander and just all the negative things on the show. The show uh, you know actually. I saw all the positivity, and I'd probably you know, be holding myself back by uh, giving all my rights to a movie script to someone else to take control of because, you know, South Park, you know, the, the owners of South Park own, you know, the rights to that. I would only be responsible for the story idea. Um, if you know, if we made a, a movie, you know, fresh from start, fresh from scratch, you know, real life movie instead of animation, I think that you know there'd be more in it for me. But yeah, um, once I get over this hard problem. I'm going, I'm still attempting to finish up my registration for SIU. They keep sending me mail saying I haven't paid my $30 application fee. That's literally the only thing holding me up and I, I just sent them an email the other day saying, you know, I have an application fee waiver. My um, FAFSA EFC score was zero, uh, meaning I'm uh, the lowest income percentage in the United States. I still have my own apartment, but, you know, one of the poorest people here. So, 